Hello everyone, I am an urban explorer from Riga and you are on Forgotten Baltics channel. Today I visited two abandoned factories, found a catacombs with an entrance to the Soviet bomb shelter and visited very interesting music speaker testing laboratory. So happy viewing! So, somewhere here is an entrance to catacombs. I hope it is. These tunnels are very old because this factory was built around 100 years ago. So I found the staircases going up. This is probably an entrance to the one of factory's buildings. So this was a uh, packages from soap called honey. Some chemicals still are left here. Oh, look at these. Six hundred kilos can stand on this plate. And here everything is quite destroyed. So these catacombs are quite long. I think here are hundreds of meters of those gates. But I am searching for a bomb shelter. Look at these barrels, they are quite big. So this factory was producing a soap and some perfume. And probably the soap was being stored in those barrels. They are quite big and the water is not clear. So it smells a bit like a soap. So this is an entrance 
to a bomb shelter. Some gas masks. GP4 and filters. Quite dusty and rusty. No electricity. Toilets for women and toilets for men. Very dusty. So I guess this was a heart of this bomb shelter. Here were located some phones to call to the factory and maybe here were some more phones, bigger phones to connect with other bomb shelters. So this was the correct plan of this bomb shelter and as I said it was designed for 150 people. But now it is quite abandoned. So at first I thought it is blood, but no, it's just a paint, red paint. And look at this, it is pectogram, satanist sign. So here was civil defense storage. Some medicine, some pills, oh, there is something inside, so this is actually how those pills look like. And in one of these box there were many of those pills. Some more gas masks, filters. GP4 gas masks. Very rusty filters. So the next room. This was an air filter room. Wow, 1958, this shelter is more than 60 years old, 64 years old, I guess, some gas masks, filters, and more and more gas masks.
The door to this room is quite closed. But here is a hole in the wall. Well, I guess nothing really interesting there. So basically, it is nothing more interesting here, and it is time to go. So next place looks quite destroyed and not interesting. So this was a factory which produced some music speakers music players music recorders some radios radio stations and this building is a laboratory where workers and scientists were testing the quality of their music players they were testing sound so the first interesting room is the room with very loud echo This is the door which closed, so here is the room, workers were pushing this red button and this door was closing. So it looks like ordinary room. But you can feel how it sounds. It's really powerful sound here. Look at these. These are, I guess, some new radio details, radio parts. Radio receptor. Well, I don't know exactly what it is. Maybe some of you will know. So you can write in comments. So the next interesting room is more bigger than this room. And if previous room was making sound very loud, this room 
is making sound very low. You can cry in this room, but there will be no sound. So, this is the door. It looks very powerful. And some parts from music speakers, I guess. So, this door was closing. Yeah, I can move it. This is quiet room. Absolutely no echo and no sound. Imagine staying in this room for one day and nobody hearing you. So I guess this little metal table was for music speakers. They were standing on this table and playing music in this room and workers were testing their speakers so looks really interesting I found one more music speaker, I guess it was produced on this factory. However, the other part of building is quite destroyed and empty and there is Nothing interesting to see. some books or maybe factory documentation don't know really well I guess someone is chilling here This is how Night Riga looks like. <laughs> 